Hello Year Ones and welcome to Lesson 38 of our phonics program. And today we're exploring some more morphology. Today, I know I say this all the time, but I am really excited because today we're going to learn a special spelling rule that will help you with lots of other suffixes down the track. So let's start off, we'll look at yesterday's homework. Over here, we had the word rush and I asked you to write rushing, eat, eating snowing, meeting, training, parking. And then I asked you to write a sentence for each of those words. I am meeting my friend for training, but first I must struggle with car parking. I used parking as a noun, but that's okay. Car parking means it's a noun, but if I say I am parking my car, it's a verb. Okay, fantastic work. Let's get straight into it. So yesterday, ta -da! look at that, I prepared that earlier. Yesterday, we had a look at base words with the suffix I-N-I-N-G, I-N-G. So remember, I-N-G, means happening now. We add ing to the end of a verb. So a verb is the action part of the word. It tells us something is happening or the state of something. Ing is a morpheme. It's a small part of meaning in a word. The ing means it's happening now. We are learning about Ing. Okay, so let's have a look over here and we'll read some ing words together. Raining, k at m p ing, camping, b r ing, i ng, ing, bring ing. That's a bit like singing yesterday when I spoke about that, isn't it? So we've got ing at the end of bring, bring ing. Clean, clean ing. St ik ing, sticking. S e u ing, selling. What's the base word here? Sell. I'm going to sell my Lego when I don't need it anymore because it's worth so much money. I am selling my Lego on eBay. Okay, good job. Today, we're going to learn something a little bit different. Today, we're going to learn something called the one, one, one rule. We're looking at the ing suffix still, but we're looking at how we use it with some different kinds of words. This is the one, one, one rule. If the base word has one syllable, and then it has one short vowel, followed by one consonant, then there's a special rule. One syllable, one short vowel, followed by one consonant, we double the last consonant when adding a vowel suffix. So, ing is a vowel suffix because the first letter's a vowel. It's not tricky, it sounds really smart. If you can say, oh yes, ing is a vowel suffix, mummy or daddy, or nana, or whoever cares for you, ing, right, then they'll think that you're super smart. So in a vowel suffix, if it's one syllable, one short vowel, followed by one consonant, we double the last consonant. Are you sitting at home thinking, what? What are you talking about? That's okay. I'm going to explain it a little bit more clearly. Let's have a look. First of all, I'm going to roll this up. So, if we have the word hop. Okay, we ask ourselves, oh, first of all, hop. Say hop, hop. How many syllables? Close your mouth and say hop. Hmm. One syllable. One syllable. Has it got a short vowel? Let's have a listen. Op, op, op. 
is short. Yes, it does. Does, is the short vowel followed by one consonant? Yes. We've got three ticks. So I know when I write hopping, I like to hop, I am hopping, I'm going to double the final letter, hop, ping. I don't say hopper ping, I'm going hopper ping. I love hopper ping. That sounds a bit mad, doesn't it? We make that sort of like a diagram. Hop, ing, hopping. Good job. How about if the word was dig? Let's have a look. Has it got one syllable? Yep. Has it got a short vowel? Let's say it together. Dig, dig, d, i, g, d, i. Yes. Is the short vowel followed by one consonant? Yes. So what do we do? Double. Let's have a look at one of our words from yesterday, from our homework. I need to have a look. Oh, I've got one. Let's have a look at this word. Brr, ah, sh, rush. Say rush with me, rush, rush. Is it one syllable? Yep. Has it got a short vowel? Brr, ah, sh. Show me your fingers. Brr, ah, sh. Brr, ah. Yes, it does. Short vowel. Is the vowel followed by one consonant? No, it isn't. Now, it is one phoneme, sh, but we spell sh digraph, two letters together to make one sound. Two letters together. So do we double? Look, r, a, sh, ing. Rushing. That's all the rule is. Let's do a couple more. Let's look at run. Run. I love to run. I am running. One syllable, run. Hmm, yes. Short vowel, r, a, n. One consonant after the vowel. Do we double? r, a, n, n. Let's do one more. Let's do, oh. That's, you're gonna, you're, I'll give you a clap if you can get this. Let's write the word clap. Clap. Is it one syllable? Hmm. Yes. Has it got a short vowel? Clap. Clap. Yes. Has it got one consonant after the short vowel? So we're going to double the P. Clapping. How's that? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, and this is one of those things that will make you a really good speller. Let's have a look at some words to read now and then we'll do some spelling together in a minute. I want to show you this because when we see a word with a double P, remember we don't say skip a ping, it sounds crazy, but the really handy thing, uh, I need my red, this double P, this tells your brain, hang on a sec, that means that must be a short vowel. So it's not skyping, it's skipping. So let's read together, short vowel, skipping, skipping, ch-o-p-ing, chopping, d r a m ing Drum ing. Trip ot r ip. Trip ing. Sorry, my dash has got a bit mucky there. D r ab. Grabbing. I'm grabbing all the bananas because they're on special. Op ing. Hopping. Swer it m. Swimming. Wer it n. Winning. Qua it ing quitting and last one s it ing. So we can see all of our base words here. We have to chop off the ing and that extra p. So our base words skip, chop, 
drum, trip. Let's read these words together. We'll go down the columns. Skipping, chopping, drumming, tripping, grabbing, hopping, swimming, winning, quitting, sitting. So rather than making you find some words today, let's just have a look. I like to swim. We like swimming. I like to hop. We are hopping. I like to quit. I like quitting. Oh, maybe if that's like chewing your nails or a bad habit. I like to grab bananas when they're on sale. I like grabbing bananas when they're on sale. I don't like tripping over my own feet. <clears throat> so you can have a play and come up with some more sentences for those. But right now, time for you to get something to write on, something to write with, and I'm gonna do a silly pause face. You ready? I fell over. That was supposed to be me looking like I'm hopping or skipping in joyfully. Is that what it looked like? Okay, get your pen ready. On the top, I'd like you to write ing. Our first word is hitting. I like hitting the tennis ball. Hitting. What's our base word? Our base word is hit. Say with me, hit. Hit. Let's sound it out. It. So, is our word one syllable? Hmm. Yes, it is. Is it, does it have a short vowel in the middle? It, yes it does. Does it have it? Does it have one consonant following the vowel? Yes, so we double. That was a bit tricky. We're gonna do one more together and then I'm gonna get you to do a couple on your own. Our next word is jog. I like to jog, I like jogging. Say the word with me, jogging, jogging. What's the base word? Jog. Say it with me, jog, j, o, g. Hmm. Is it one syllable? Yes, it is. That's right, j, o, g. It's one syllable, short vowel, j, o, g, yes. One consonant after the vowel, yes. So we're going to double it. Good work. This next one, I want you to try and do by yourself. Our word is clapping. You say clapping, clapping. What's our base word? Clap, k u a p, k u a p. Okay, I'm gonna think it through, you have a go. K u a p, mm, mm, one syllable. Short vowel k a, and there's one consonant, so I'm going to double. Clapping. Does your clapping look like my clapping? If it does, give yourselves a tick. Um, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do running. I got sick of jogging and I started running because it was going to rain. Running. Say it with me. Running. Running. What's the base word? Run. Write that down. How many syllables? Short vowel, r, a, n. One consonant following the vowel, double. How did you go with those? Let's have a look at our fluency passage. It's a little bit smaller than normal this week, but we'll cope. I go running each morning. Now, morning's interesting. Morning's actually a noun. It's a concept, object, person, or thing. It's a thing, it's the morning, it's the time of the day. So I go running each morning, then I start swim, swimming at nine o'clock. I am get getting it to compete. I like jog 
jogging on my rest days. Let's have another read. I go running each morning. Then I start swimming at nine o'clock. I am getting fit to compete. I like jogging on my rest days. Huh, that sounds like me, non-stop exercise. Let's read it one more time with some fluency. I go running each morning, then I start swimming at nine o'clock. I am getting fit to compete. I like jogging on my rest days. How did you go with that? Did you remember that when we see the double letter in the middle, we know that it's a short vowel sound, ah? Uh? Okay, good work. Let's have a little dictation. So, I, this is a sentence. I am stopping skipping. I am stopping skipping. Why? I don't know, maybe I hurt my foot, but I'm just, I'm stopping. I'm not skipping anymore. Right now, I'm stopping. Okay, say it with me. I am stopping skipping. I am stopping skipping. Whoa, cool, short one today. I am, so who is I am? What do we need at the start of a sentence? And when we write I, we need a capital letter. I am stopping skipping. St base word, stop. Hmm. Oh, one consonant, double. I am stopping skipping, base word skip. One syllable, short vowel, one consonant after the vowel. I am stopping skipping. How did you go writing that sentence? You did all right? Okay, let's have a quick refresh of this rule. So, oh, I'll hold it up. We know if the base word has one syllable, one short vowel, and one consonant following the short vowel, we need to double the consonant. Now, in your homework, I'm hoping to get a bit tricky. So here's your homework. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I have another one I prepared earlier. We'll have a really super quick practice and then I'll give you your homework. So you don't need to write all of this on your page. I just want you to write dig and then I want you to say, hmm, how many syllables? Dig, one, you can write a tick. Has it got a short vowel? D -i. Does it end in a consonant? So I have to double and then you'll write digging. Let's look at this word, wish, wish. Mm. One syllable, yep. Has it got a short vowel? W -i -sh. Yes, it does. Does it have one consonant following? Uh-oh, it's got two consonants. We don't have to double, we just add thing. Let's do one more. Let's do clasping. One syllable, clasp. Hmm. Short vowel. Ah, that's a weird one. It is, we count that as a short vowel, but that's one of the sounds that A can make. Let's look at the end though. Does it have one consonant following the short vowel? It does not. So again, we write the base word and we just add ing. So all I want you to do is the ticks and crosses and write the words. Here are your words. Trim, grip, rush, flip, eat, dig. They're mixed up. You'll have to double some and some of them you won't have to double. Ask yourself the questions and write the words. Good luck with the homework. I'm sure you'll do really well if you count one, one, one. See you later, alligator. Mm -hmm.